Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to take you through a quick uh, walk through the uh, Vortex Side Builder member, member portal. And um, as you can see, that's at members.vortexsidebuilder.com. And um, this is what you'll see if you come to this URL. Uh, and of course, uh, that's not much good if you're a member and you want to have access, but just to show you what to expect. If you see this page, it means, as you can see here, this page is where you'll land if you're not logged in as a member and maybe just visiting. So uh, there's certain pages here that aren't restricted. Uh, for instance, I think the resources pages, uh, the articles, uh, the affili affiliates, and then the membership options uh, page is um, open to the public. But of course, the member dashboard is not. So when you first um, purchase your Vortex Site Builder license, you'll be given an email with a registration completion link uh, where you'll just choose a um, username and a password and once you've got that you come back to this page here and um, the best thing to do is just to to log in here and you come to the typical login uh, page here and you just put in the username that you've uh, you've assigned yourself and your and your password and uh, log in and when you log in what you'll see is I'll just log in as a personal license uh, member and what you'll see is this okay so it says welcome to your member dashboard and this looks the same whether you have the personal developer or the um, enterprise license but the access uh, will be restricted to the license that you've actually purchased okay so uh, as you can see here the um, the main menu uh, tab up the top is uh, is the same as it was before but we've got these bunch of buttons on the right hand side here and by the way all this was made using Vortex Side Builder so we I've just created these buttons that have got this nice hover over effect and I, you can change them to any color you like but uh, okay so the first thing that you'll notice is um, it's basically this section here is directing you to the right hand panel there just to click if you want to change your profile for instance if you don't like your your um, your username or your password well then you can change that in the uh, back end here okay so yeah welcome uh, Nathan Hall uh, your account level details membership level is level one personal level license um, your username is is Nate um, etc etc it tells you how many times you've logged in what the IP address is actually the username can't be changed if you specifically wanted a username change you just have to uh, let us know and we can change that for you but basically that's set um, email address well you can change that of course you can change your first name last name and the display name as well if you want to have a um, uh, a new password well then you can um, and if you want to receive updates via email just click that save all changes and you're good to go okay and uh, in the my products page you will see that um, we've got here the different if you just hover over here you can see personal developer license enterprise license elite support which is the custom hands-on support uh, via the uh, specific uh, custom help desk that we've set up and uh, that's available for $67 a year but if you've got an enterprise license that's included with your enterprise license otherwise you will just use the uh, the forum support which is in itself quite uh, detailed and uh, and very supportive and, and all-inclusive okay so if I go to click on um, well I've, I've got a, a personal license that's what this particular user has so if I press on developer license click on it won't give me access and so if you see this page here it means that you've you've got the wrong license or you've clicked the wrong button it'll just bring you to the membership options page um, and it basically tells you what the options are okay so we'll go back to the uh, member dashboard and I'll click on the correct button this time okay so I go to my products and of course I've got a personal license so I'll click on personal license and uh, for your personal license, okay, I've, uh, it's even told me what my activation code is here, which you should have got in your um, confirmation <coughs> email um, and uh, the activation email that you use. Um, and it basically says here that uh, you'll need those when you first activate the uh, theme. 
a vortex site builder on any new site installation. Uh, in this case, personal license uh, allows uh, the user to, or the licensee, to install on any personally owned domains. Okay, so just clicking on this here, and it just gives you a, you know, confirm you've you've downloaded zero protected files in the last two days. You have three unique downloads every two-day period. Um, we find that's more than sufficient uh, for what to the everyday needs of uh, genuine users would be. If you have any problems with that, you can certainly let us know. But just clicking OK will start the uh, the download process, and it'll download to your desktop here. So saying, OK, what do you want to do? Yeah, I want to save the file. And that'll start saving it to your uh, desktop or whatever destination you've chosen. OK, so I you can upgrade your license here. So it, for instance, if I wanted to upgrade to developer or, or enterprise, uh, that's what that link is for. Um, the uh, support forum is um, available if you just click you have to register to get access and you have to use a support forum reg registration activation code which is you will see in this space here we had to do that to stop spam regis registries um, or registrants whatever you want to call it um, uh, yeah and that'll give you access to the to the forum okay so that's the the product access and then we've got the tutorials page which we're adding to all the time but on the tutorials page you click on that basically it just says this is the main vid video tutorials page you can visit the forum and if I click on that it uh, allows you to visit the forum inside the uh, the iframe window okay so and that's completely uh, functional but if you wanted to actually visit the forum you could right click here and open a new tab and that would take you that would take you there okay let's and uh, here we've got the video tutorials and uh, on all the various aspects of working with uh, Vortex and we've got uh, quite a few more to, to add to that we'll be adding um, as time rolls on but uh, for instance we've just got a link here and you'll notice when you ho hover over it says click to watch the video in the pop-out display and this is a standard function of Vortex Side Builder that you can actually uh, link to pop-out videos from inline text you can also do it from I could put in a little uh, uh, video screen uh, icon if I wanted an image icon in there and click on that but in this case I'm just going to click on that and it uh, brings out up the uh, the video in the pop-out window okay so there we go uh, how to install Vortex Site Builder theme on a WordPress foundation site we can make that full screen we can watch it on YouTube if we want to but you'll find that that is more than big enough for you to watch and then um, you can move on to any of the other videos on the right here it tells you how long each video goes for. Okay, so that's the video tutorials. Going back to the member dashboard here, um, we've pretty much walked through everything. Okay, so we've gone through my profile, my products, tutorials, resources. Basically, that's just recommended uh, products, which is worth looking at. Support, if you need support, uh, opens the support page, which basically says, hey, go to the support forum, or if you're an el elite priority support uh, member, you can uh, get access uh, to that um, and again if I click on that okay so uh, here we are elite customer support and this is for hands-on support if you need it if you need us to help you specifically with some issue or some site building issue you want us to actually access your WP admin we can do that and um, as I say you can either subscribe to the Vortex Site Builder Elite Support membership for $67 a year or if you already have an enterprise license that's included within your license. Okay, and then of course if you want to log out, just click on uh, log out and you're out. Okay, do you really want to log out? Yes, I do. Just uh, to make sure. Okay, so we're back here now at the login screen. Okay, and that's a look at the um, the Vortex Site build, build a Member Portal, uh, something that we've built uh, for uh, your convenience and uh, to make sure that everything's streamlined from the time that you purchase and come out of the um, the purchase gateway, that you have everything that you need. Just come here and uh, uh, log into your page as uh, as uh, indicated, and you should have everything that you need to get started. Okay, thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one. Bye.